Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Boating Wilderness Podcast. Jason here, and today we're going to talk about could this be what you need for your hunting truck? Okay, could this be the solution that you're looking for? And how a way to make this even more smaller and compact we'll talk about here. So, but a lot of us go out hunting, we're by ourselves out there, and there's a possibility of getting stuck. And when we get stuck, you know, having a way to get out is pretty important. Now, we've covered a lot of things I've done in the past. I've talked about my White Scott Power Puller, which um, we have, uh, you know, we have right here. I'll bring them over. Ugh, hang on. But we've used all these systems. We have a come along, standard come along that we've talked about and used before. And we have that White Scott Power Puller, which is a big dog version of that right here that you can see that I've done video reviews on, which is an amazing come along heirloom, you know, just top shelf power puller um you know that we're talking about i think we're like 30 pounds for this setup right here um so we've talked about these systems in the past but they all require a lot of work and down here in the mud in georgia down here in this peanut butter mud that sucks you in I worry about it not being enough sometimes, and uh, so I built this system for my Gladiator. Okay, this is a capable rig, but it also serves the purpose of being able to be put on anybody else's rig too. This is a trailer hitch mount. All of us have trailer hitches on our trucks. Okay, very few of us are going to have a bump. We're going to invest in a bumper and uh, front uh, suspension work and uh, a winch on the front and all that stuff. Some people do, but not all of us. Okay, here we have a. Hitch mounted. This goes right in my hitch receiver. You're going to see videos of this in a second. This is an X Bull 13,500 pound winch. It was not a bad price at $450. 75 bucks for the Harbor Freight winch cradle. Okay, this is not a lot of money invested in this. I think this weighs 90 pounds for this setup here. Is it heavy? Yes. Is it impossible to carry? No, but it is heavy. You notice it. But, uh, but. Um, I went with this one on purpose because of the fact that it, the mud down here, like I said, that people get into are so bad. Plus, I have a lot of buddies that drive big trucks like Super Duty, diesels, and things like that. And this might be what's needed for, for something that size. So, um, But I'm still contemplating building that smaller rig, that 6,000 pound rig, uh, to see as well too. So, like I said, but what did we do here? So we have the winch on a cradle. Okay, that plugs right into the hitch on any pickup. Then we have the, the wires that came out of it. And online on Amazon, I will put a link down below, I bought a set of 30 foot jumper cables that already include this front half and this Anderson clip. Okay, so they are bolted on. You can see it buried in here somewhere, but uh, I right here, I bolted them to the other cables. These are the original winch cables. I bolted them, the, the two uh, eyelids together. And I have this set up on here, but this basically sits right on this X Bowl 13.5 winch with synthetic cable. Um, so this is all set. This is that whole rig. All I have to do is plug this one Anderson plug into the other one. So what do we got in the winch bag? Well, you're probably going to want a recovery strap too in case you need it for extension purposes, like to extend this out or something like that. So having one of these, we all carry them in our truck already anyway, so it's not part of this because we all have them. If you don't have them, you need one, okay? Uh, they're a simple recovery strap, so that's why I had that in there to show you. This kit right here, Big size or the mini size I showed you would probably be pretty amazing for most vehicles out there. So here we got a shovel. You never. This is the most important one out there. I'm telling you, if your wheels are bogged in pretty bad, you're going to want to shovel them out and get a clear ramp out of there so that the winch can do its job and not fight. When you're below your axles in the mud, you're you're basically smashing against the wall. You can't roll up over them. So having a shovel that can get you out of there is is very easy. So then in here, what we have inside of here is we have a couple of different things, but we have the rest of our cables. I will show you these. Let me pull some of this stuff out so I can talk about this for a minute here. Let me grab these and show you what we what we got. So we have the winch here. We have the shovel here. These are the other part of my cables. Okay. All I have to do is I have this connection here. I plug this in. It takes less than two minutes to set this entire system up. You will see it at the end of this. I will show you. I plug this into my hitch. I take it out of the back of my truck, plug it into my hitch. This lays on my tonneau cover or in the bed of my truck. To that connector, I plug this connector in. And we basically then lay these cables right over the roof or I hang them right on the passenger side on the mirror. 
the side mirror so they're not laying on the ground. Pop the hood and connect these to the battery. That's all there is to it. Connect it to the battery and then I have a winch set up right there. My controller lives in this bag. It's wireless, but I have wired if I need it to be wired. Okay, that's the beauty of this uh, Expo winch. I got a, a wireless one that reaches well over 100 yards. I think it goes to 100 yards almost or whatever it is with this, but it goes a long way. Um, but uh, that wireless one, and I could go wired if I needed to. We have the winch. We have the cable system. Two minutes to plug it in and set it up and your vehicle's ready for a winch on any vehicle you want that has a hitch. This is a tree saver. Goes right around the tree that you're going to connect to and you can hook right into this with your clamp, which mine is tight against the winch, but you can clamp right on there and let the winch line out and you pull yourself in. It's that easy, okay? That's all you need. If you're going to be more technical or it's a harder pull, especially if you're running that smaller like the 6000 package, you can use a snatch ring. Something like this right here too, okay? This connects to that tree saver, your winch line goes around this and it doubles the pull capacity of your winch by having two lines going back to your vehicle. Okay, so you have this going connected out there now. I'll show you some of these examples in a future video when I set these up. But you'll have this is basically a snatch block. It's a snatch ring, but it's simple. It's affordable and it's functional and it does the same thing on a soft shackle. So now you can basically double the pulling power of your winch theoretically. We might be off by a little bit there with resistances, but technically we're going to get that extra power. We need double the power of your winch. So like I said, you could take a 6,000 pound winch and use it for a, you know, to pull your average four or 5,000 pound truck without a problem, most likely, um, out of most situations, unless you're really stuck bad. But even if you're stuck pretty bad, if you start using this as your best friend to get you out of there, um, and get that position so that that winch doesn't have to work as hard, life will be much better. So, but here is an example of that big one. I'm going to show it to you at the end, but all of this stuff fits right inside of this little simple case right here. I take it, I fit it all, you know, just a, uh, what is this, a Husky. It's a, a Home Depot bag that I just grabbed from Home Depot for like 18 or 20 bucks or whatever it was. This stuff fit in it. Actually, I already had that because it was a tool kit I had in, in my trailer. But this just rolls up, put that tree saver right inside of there, and that goes right in there. And then I have the snatch block on a soft shackle. I have another soft shackle right here that also has the, uh, the abrasion guard on there. Okay, and I'll put links to all this stuff down below. And I'm not telling you how to winch, and I'm not telling you what all this stuff is. Again, that's, that's stuff you want to learn and uh, liability reasons and things like that, but it's got an extra piece in there. But then this is that whole kit. I can squish this right in here and zip this up, put that whole thing together. Now, it is a tight fit in here, but it does fit for me, and I zip it. And this is all I have to bring on those days that are really, really ugly, that are bad out there, rainy days in the swamps. I have this little kit that I can throw right in the back of my truck. I keep a shovel and so much stuff in there already, but this little compact setup makes sure that I'm going to be able to get out. And like I said, building a smaller version of this that I might leave in there all the time is something I'm seriously considering. This is a big dog, and I bought it on purpose as a big dog. But you don't have to have a new bumper. You don't have to invest in putting a winch on a bumper. You don't have to worry about it getting beat up, the UV rays destroying in your synthetic line. You don't have to worry about uh, corrosion in your terminals. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff with this setup. When you're heading out and you know it's going to be one of those days or into a place that there's a good chance you're going to get stuck, you throw this in the bed of your truck, tie it down with this bag, and you have a way to get yourself out without fail every time. We're running out of light pretty quick here, but we're gonna set up, I wanna tension, I wanna pull out and retension all that line on that thing. You gotta do it with any winch you get uh, with synthetic line. So, but we got this whole set in here, cables here. We're gonna see what it takes to set this thing up. We're gonna connect it over there. We're gonna stretch that out. So we just take this whole winch set up right here, and we are gonna plug it in down there. In our hitch receiver so we set this down so we can pull that pin out we'll need this winch bag with all of our winch components in it cables and the stuff like that I'm just gonna set it there for right now we're gonna pull this pin out just stick this pin back together and set it right here just for now pull the pin out of this one set it here take our cables are fine we're good there we're gonna take the whole winch slide it right into the receiver 
and see where we gotta be. Oh, right. A little wiggling. There we go, put a pin in it. Oh, I got it turned wrong. There we go, pin's in. So that's set, we're gonna take these cables. We're gonna throw them up here, this is where it's gonna go to. Watch, it's gonna sit there. We're gonna grab our other cable out of here. This is where we keep all of our stuff we need is inside of this bag. We have our snatch blocks, uh, soft shackles, tree saver that we're going to need on there for that when we do that. We got our cable set up. Our remote's in here, our cables are in here, but we're going to take this set. We're going to pop our little safety strap. And we're going to run these across. connect these two Anderson clips together but we have all that stuff set now we just connect these two quick releases and we are good to go we want to go negative positive to positive negative to negative and that's that and that's that we got a winch we grab our remote right here we power it on so that we're green for uh, wireless there it is. Kick her into uh, should be free spool. There we go. And now we're gonna run that all the way out over there to see how far we can get, how close we can get to that. So we'll be back in a minute. We're gonna just walk this down. Is we are gonna take our. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna make it or if I'm gonna be. Wait, maybe we can pull it just a little bit more. Yeah, we can. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Put our tree saver around here. Just like so. And then we're going to connect to it with our hook. And then that is what we are going to take that line in with when we tighten. We're going to roll that Jeep to us, is the game plan. We are going to roll that Jeep all the way to where we are. And uh, we are going to put that Jeep in neutral, set the parking brake a little bit for some tension. And then we're going to spool that and I'm going to guide it as it goes. Now what we're doing is winching a little bit at a time. So there I did about a 30, 40 second pull. We want to let it cool for 30, 40 seconds. Even though this is a very light duty pull, the more aggressive and extreme your pulls get, the more you want to let off. Winch for 15, 20, 30 seconds, let off for a minute. Let that motor cool down. This thing's working hard. Even now with the uh, parking brake set and it's still pretty light load, we want to give it time to relax. While we let that cool down, the reason we have to do this with all winches when you buy it, that line is just hand spooled on there, okay? Nothing major. And that line is very soft and kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's bigger diameter because there's no tension on it. What happens is if you were to start winching on it the way it came from the factory, you're going to pull that line tight. It's going to squeeze down narrow diameter. It's going to fit between all the other ones. And then it's going to get tighter on the drum. But you're going to now have line that should be on the top of the roll. It's cutting its way down to the bottom of the roll and, and loose line on top of it, it'll turn into a rat's nest and it's near impossible to get out without connecting the winch, disengaging, and trying to use your truck to drive it out. It's a nightmare. So instead, when we get it, we pull all that line out except for about 10, 12, what, basically a synthetic, one roll right across the, uh, the, the drum. And then we are going to, like I said, I am in neutral and I have the parking brake about half set 
and we are winching that in and I'm guiding that and making it perfect on there but the line is so nice and tight now on that drum over each roll that when I let that out or when I go to use it next time it's going to be easier to free spool and when I go to pull it in or start winching with it they're going to wrap on top and not cut down through between and get into a big tangled nest. All right, now this last little bit here, I'm just gonna do by hand with some tension on it, but I wanna be able to guide it. And when you're this close to it, there's really no way for, there's not enough slack in the line to be able to move this left and right. So now that we're here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just let out the line of touch so I can disconnect it, hit the out button, okay? We are gonna disconnect our hook. Then we are gonna pull this in freehand so what we're going to do is pull this tight as I can by hand and bring her in. Now when you get here, get your hands out of the way. I'm going to come in closer. Love this is magnetic. See, I can just, uh, it's an aluminum tailgate, but I can set that anywhere. And it just stands and holds that magnetic, uh, um, magnetic controller right there is really nice. It's wired and wireless. I love that. So wireless, but if it fails wired or wireless, you have a wire right here to run wired. I love this setup on this thing. So anyway, so now here, when you're here, you don't want your hands anywhere near this stuff. Now what's cool about this x bowl is it has magnets on it. So I can take this and literally stick it and it will hold itself right there. Look it. See, it holds on its own. Just comes in and clamps. All I have to do is take up a little bit of slack on there. There it is. Hey, that's on. It's not coming off. That's not going. We are in business. So that is a hitch is set. So now we can put our stuff back. We're done. That's technically the whole entire process of how this is done. You've seen how quick it was to set up. Very fast and easy. Let's, uh, well, we still got light. Let's take this thing down. But I love this. Winching from the back is my number one goal. I never want to winch from the front because I'm out there myself and I don't go bombing through crap or get stuck like that. If I drop in a hole and get stuck or high centered in there, out backwards is the way I want to go. So this winch is perfect. Plus, with this setup, I can put this on anybody's vehicle. So whoever else gets stuck, I don't have to come and save them. I can actually, or I can bring this winch right out to them, plug it into their truck and we can get them out on their own too. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So we're gonna put it all away. We grab our tree saver that we got right here. Take our tree saver. We're going to roll it. This whole thing is going to go right in this bag. Everything's going to stay right in this bag. This is like a winch bag that we have here. So everything's going to fit in that bag. All my stuff. I got this. This is going to come off. It's actually this one of these here. This is, uh, I just got these, but you don't ever want to use a, uh, um, you don't want to use a soft shackle or I mean a, uh, Yes, uh, you want this no abrasion on the soft shackle when you're using it with a uh, snatch block So we're gonna put that on there like that But that's what that is right there so that I can actually use it in double line pull All right, so disconnecting this thing all we have to do come over here pop apart the Anderson connections They're done close those off We're done there the winch is now technically done Disconnect from the battery, lift that off my mirror, then we are going to roll this up. So we're going to set these down here, we're going to grab the end of this table, and I'm just going to roll this because this is just going to go right in that bag. So we're just going to roll this up. This is long enough that I can make sure that I can use it even for like a, uh, uh, a uh, you know, like an F-350 Super Duty truck with a eight foot bed, we can still get back to their hitch on this and have no problem 
being able to recover them, which is really nice. So we're just rolling this up like this, and we are set. Then we are going to put our little bitty uh, tie-down strap here that I have just through here to keep everything nice and neat, like so. There's that. Okay, we're done there. We take the bag, winch bag right here. We're going to open it. Our winch cable is already in here. Our uh, or our, uh, um, our remote wire. We're gonna take this stuff, set this in here. Take that, drop it right inside of here. Squish that down so it's in there. This goes to there. We take this, this, and this. Stick these in here, so that they're gonna fit in there. Then we want our remote in here. our winch bag right there done set and ready we come over here with these cables we're just going to wrap them around it again we're just going to roll these to keep them nice and tight keep them together i have a, a tie in here if i need it but so far i don't because again we're not driving with this on here we take this roll it right on here with the cables set it right on the top we're good there Pull our hitch pin, which is sticking. Ah, there we go. Pull out our hitch pin. Take out our winch. Drop the tailgate. Grab the winch pins. Put that there. Put that there. Put this in here. Take the winch. Put the pin back in. So we don't lose our pin. And then we put this in here and since I'm only going a mile down the road I'm not strapping it but I would use my tie downs here put a strap through here and strap it right there so that it can't move I'm on a rubber mat it's not going anywhere anyway I'm only a mile away but that's it <laughs> I mean beat that that is pretty impressive put our original hitch pin back in just because I like to have one there we go that's all there is to it we still got to drop the hood the only thing I got left to do is literally drop the hood down and we are 100% done. So real simple system that I can carry with me, use it when I need to. And like I said, I don't need to carry it every day. But if it's been a rainy, miserable day and I'm heading into swamps and I know the rivers are flooded and I know everything's going to be peanut butter mud and a mess, I can throw that in the back of my truck and have it. If a buddy of mine calls and says, hey, I'm stuck, can you help me? Yes, I can help them. Not only can I help them, I don't have to use my truck if I don't want to. I can bring that winch and say, here you go. Hook it to your battery. You get out. And it's a lot easier. So there's a lot of benefits to that. Uh, and like I said, being able to pull from the back is a huge benefit. So, But you just saw the system. Thanks for watching. So something to think about. Um, it's got a pretty brilliant idea and concept to it. And we usually want to pull out from the back anyway. In most places, going forward, once you get in and you're stuck, trying to continue forward just means that you're going to fight your way back out later on anyway. So um, for in my situation, 99% of the time, if I'm stuck, I want to go out backwards, the same way I came. I don't want to continue going forward into that crap. Down here, especially in South Georgia, if I'm stuck, it's probably like that for a long ways and it's going to be miserable going forward. I want to go backward. Having this mounted on your hitch makes life a lot easier. Watch, you're going to see a demonstration of it here as I roll in the, when I spooled up the line on this to show you how quick and easy it is to set up and how the system worked. Thanks for watching.